Good morning, good morning. I pushed my camera up a little bit more because it's not getting the whole page. And today is a little bit different because we're not doing a place in San Francisco. We're doing a thing of San Francisco. Now, I was always told one story. I think history gets mishmashed with folklore sometimes. <laughs> So I was always told that this company started for one reason, started in the same place, sort of, but it didn't start for this in the same way. Our story today is about Levi Strauss. Now, Levi Strauss was a clothing manufacturer, a textile manufacturer in Germany. And his brother um, yeah, had a dry goods store. I guess they owned stores of textiles in New York. And he decided to leave Germany, Bavaria, and came with his brother-in-law, David Stern, to New York. The story is vague, but from New York, he ended up in San Francisco in 1853. Well, that was five, four and a half, five years after gold was discovered and people were still flocking. I mean, San Francisco was made. The Spanish came first, the, the indigenous people were there. Then the Mexicans came from uh, Mexico. And then the Spanish came and for a while, it was going to be a territory of Spain and or Mexico. They fought back and forth. And yes, this is a dinosaur, but we're gonna stick it in here so that it doesn't look like a dinosaur. And I think even if it has the word plus a Sora, it's okay. I want the blue. Anyhow, so, and when the gold was discovered, I think that, because remember, our Civil War had already happened. People were floundering. Railroads were happening, going west. Um, before that, you had to get on a ship and go all the way around South America and come back up to San Francisco, which is how some other things in California happened. But... Um, when the gold was discovered, that kind of changed a lot of things. And in my opinion, my non-educated in history, just a lack of facts here and there um, opinion. So they had a miner named Jacob De Davis that kept coming to their store and buying fabric to reinforce his pants in the gold fields. And he was selling it up there. And... I mean, when you're working in the gold fields, you have a lot of uh, stress to your clothes and obviously you're rugged and blah, 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 blah. And I don't think they ever took their clothes off truthfully. I think they took baths and put the same clothes back on. So somehow the miner was doing this and then he came up with rivets like in construction to put at the stress point so the pants wouldn't rip as easily. And he he didn't have the money, but he wanted to patent that idea. And he partnered with Strauss and his brother-in-law, David Stern, and they created jeans, Levi jeans. So that's a true story. All that is true. This is just a bunch of people. Oh, you know what? This has got an Indian might put this like that somehow because I really kind of want to just have these old people as if they were I don't know nah, I'm gonna say this for something else <clears throat> but this is perfect because here are the rivets and jeans so Levi Strauss still going today um, and they have done that family has done a tremendous amount of cultural 
financial, all kinds of stuff for San Francisco, obviously. Um, and fun fact, it's the only jeans my dad would ever wear. <laughs> and he wore jeans every day. Until he was very old and they were no longer comfortable for him or practical. Um, but it's just it's just interesting to me. See now you can't tell that's a dinosaur. I love that. That's the fun part of collage. Um, I'm like I'm looking for blue things. I haven't come up with very many. So anyhow, I think the between the gold miners and all the people that flocked to find their fortune um, after the Civil War, a lot of families, of course, were torn apart. And it was a good time to like reevaluate and restart and dream. And it was just a pivotal point in history, I think. Um, again, my opinion. Okay, I need blue. I'm gonna have to go digging in the archive. Um, I, I just, it's, it was, it was a pivotal point in history and a pivotal point in California history to have all of these things happening. And it was like a perfect storm. And I don't know if that... Um, in my opinion, that changed a lot. That helped uh, the change happen and the ideas of starting over. And, and a lot of people made money off of the gold fields and in the gold fields. Um, it, it spurred the economy, for sure. Um, this is an ephemera pack I got years and years. No, not years and years ago. I got it two years ago to go to Ireland. And really, it didn't really represent what I was looking for, most of it. I pulled out green things. but um, And it was just a generic one. There are some journaling cards in here. Probably, because I don't use journaling cards the way you're supposed to. But... blue sticker. This is more green than blue. I, I just find it a fascinating time in history. This might work. That looks like a rivet color. Um, so Levi Strauss. The 49ers current football stadium, which is relatively new, um, is called Levi Stadium. Lots and lots of things and money revolved around. And San Francisco was a huge financial city for a very long time. I think it still is. Um, it was like New York goes east, I mean goes west. Uh, in my opinion. Okay, here's some blue maps. Those might work today. So yeah, interesting. I used to play with a girl that had neighbors who were supposedly, they were very inconspicuous. <laughs> I never saw them go to work, um, but it was like a great, great grandson of Levi Strauss. And that money still goes, they've had ups and downs, um, like a lot of textile companies because of where their manufacturing was. Um, and I think they have recouped their world famous, so they just focused in other parts of the world for years. I think it was a coping skill for their company. 
And I don't know how many like subsidiary things they do. That might be interesting to find out. Like if they've got their hands in other kinds of businesses. Because right now I think a lot of people are doing that. Update on my sister's job. I shouldn't have said all what I did. But supposedly she is safe until about December. She is a prized employee. Um, she's one of those rare birds that doesn't mind working for diddly squat salaries. And she's loyal to the core. <laughs> Wasn't I looking for a car yesterday? Oh, <gasps> that would be fun. Not exactly a car car, but it might work. I think this is still the same ephemera pack. I bought a couple that time when we, before we went to Ireland. And I may have bought a children's book page pack and then another one. Might be how it happened. Karchi, you probably know. You know more about what I do than you, I do. Um, so, I visited with my friend a little bit yesterday that has the Alzheimer's patient with her. I mean, she's she used to be. She has her PhD. You can't imagine in finance or something like that. And she was a department head of one of the state agencies for years. Um, I can't imagine. I was probably over there visiting for about an hour. And in that time, she got up and went to the coffee maker three times, made three cups of coffee. And I do remember the last time I was around her, she drank a lot of coffee, but she still has that in her memory, Banks. And then she would get up as soon as she started drinking the coffee, get up and make a glass of tea, cold tea. And she had about three of those. I was like, oh man. And Carol, my friend Carol, she just was like, just let her go. She said it's really sad, but apparently somehow she found out that while they're here, their dog had, I think one of her kids is taking care of their dog and it had nothing serious but it had to be taken to the vet. And for some reason, the kids decided to tell the mom, this lady, and she really kind of wants to go home and she's very worried about the dog. Rightly so, I would be too. But even though she's been reassured that there's not much wrong with it and it's okay and it went through the vet and everything's fine, they're leaving early. So, it's sad. So, I had a little bit of time with them yesterday, but that's the only time I'm going to see them. We were going to go out to lunch today. We could have done something last night, except that when all this happened with her dog, it was kind of emotional for her, and I just stayed out of the way. Because she remembers who I am for a second, and then she doesn't. And that's just adding stress to the whole situation. So, it's sad. Sad. Alzheimer's is a sad thing. But the worst part of my day happened at physical therapy. Those people took my leg in places that it had never been before. I said, y'all forget that I was not an athlete before this, so I don't expect to be back in athletic shape. Speaking of athletes, ooh, Tiger Woods, a famous golfer, was in a horrible car accident. And I really couldn't read some of the articles because it was giving me PTSD, seriously. Um, they had to, he has, he broke his tibia and fibula, just like I did, but in several places up and down his leg. And they were doing surgery on him, and they said he will be lucky to walk normally again. So I don't know if he'll be able to play golf again. I don't know. And he was coming back after a lot of personal issues, obviously, and some health issues. Um, 
his back, of course, the golfer's back doesn't last forever. This house was owned by a golfer, um, a professional one, not at this stage of Tiger Woods, but he did make his living off of golf. And um, that's why they gave it up because his back just wouldn't allow him to travel here. They lived in South Carolina and only like two hours away, but uh, they just, there was a time to give it up, which is sad. But um, that's how we got it. It was on the market. But it wouldn't have been on the market if his back was better. All right. I think this was wrapping around something because that pink washi tape is not mine. So, anyhow, the gym. Oh, i got to make sure I stay here. This is my foot. This is my ankle right here right here. They put a strap around it. I'm standing up. They put a strap around it and it's a webbing strap, kind of like you would use to tie something down with on a car and move it. Um, and I stood in a um, lunge position with my knee over my leg and trying to stretch out my calf muscle back here, which is very tight. Um, and somebody, my physical therapy lady, stood behind me with that strap and was pulling on the strap. Now, this is a webbed strap. This is not like a rubber, stretchy exercise strap that I use also every day, several times a day. This was webbing, like you would strap furniture down on a truck. Um, and she's pulling it, and I'm trying to move it forward. That is supposed to be limbering my ankle a little bit that doesn't count all the stuff she does with you know this kind of stuff with each joint in the toe and the the deep massaging she's doing around the joints of the toe trying to because my toes are still very 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 stiff not as bad as they were for sure and there's lots of exercises where you scrunch your toes in like wrinkled cloths and the, the the goal is to be able to pick up that cloth i can wrinkle it a little bit even with as much progress as I've made, I cannot do it anymore. And the bottom of my, the ball of my foot is very swollen. And I asked her yesterday, I said, is it because, because I had bunion surgery on both of my feet when I was in my 20s, a long time ago. And would it that possibly be part of it? Now this is the, this foot did not have a pin in it. My right foot does. But this one had the most severe bunion. And when they opened up my foot, shaved off that bunion and closed it back up, my foot, the toes never came back like that. They're still like that. And I said, you know, is there scar tissue under there that could be slowing everything down? She said, that's a good possibility. She said, I remember you telling me you had all this. And I said, yeah, I did. And she said, that could be part of it. But the, the doctor of physical therapy that runs this clinic he was the one that came up with this idea. Now, he thinks outside the box, always. He's always coming up with weird stuff. Um, he's very much into Middle East, not Middle Eastern. Um, like the needling, acupuncture, dry needling, the cups that suck out the toxins. I, I think that's how they work. Um, what am I trying to say? What kind of medicine? Asian medicine, I don't know. Chinese medicine. Anyhow, that technology that's been around for thousands of years, way before some of the modern machines that he also uses and theories. Um, and he was the one that came up with it. And he does a lot of jujitsu. Jujitsu, is that how you say it? Um, and he's had lots of he's had a, a problem where he's had fused discs and in his back and he has hip issues and knee issues and i don't know if he was in a really bad accident when he was younger or what but he's had a lot of issues with his body and that was one reason why he got into this field of medicine is because he wanted to help other people in his circumstances 
Um, he's super smart. He just, he thinks outside the box. And the lady that helps me a lot that's closer to my age, um, she said, you know, she's worked in physical therapy places for 30 years and never have had seen some of the stuff that he does. Um, I, and I, again, I looked up on this place. Thank goodness. Um, and he, he came in yesterday morning as I was coming in because I was on the eight o'clock appointment list and got in as soon as they opened. And he said, come here so-and-so and he's talking to the lady that helps me and um the therapy lady and he said come here and he started messing with this strap he which he brought from home and he goes try this and they were talking and i'm like oh i was already on the exercise bike i'm like oh i hope that's not for me and he goes i think that'll help get some of the um motion and loosen up that calf and rotation better in her ankle and I kept hearing the word her and I'm like oh please tell me that's not for me because <laughs> they were practicing on each other and I'm like well that looks painful uh and almost made me want to stay on the bike longer and uh she said all right we're gonna do some stuff and she said first of all hold on stop right here where they were practicing and ex not experimenting but trying to get the right technique down and leverage and blah 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 and he said come here we're gonna try something on you I said oh, I was afraid this was for me he goes yep this is for you because I was thinking last night and uh that's just what he does he's always thinking and he's like I was thinking last night and uh he said this might work and I was like oh my gosh she goes it's gonna hurt I'm just gonna tell you it's gonna and they had already started doing things on me that are really hurting um to try and because I only have a month left to try and get it all ready for when I leave. And um, I said, I was afraid this was going to be for me. Because this is for you. They did it two or three times. And let me just tell you. She said, go home and put ice on it and heat. Because she said, this is going to hurt. And it did. But if it works, I'm all for it. So today I'm on my own. My husband is coming down. Okay, I think I like that. This represents the rivet color and the thread and the orange in their tags. Blues. This kind of represents the browns in the color also. They're global. And my dad was one of their admittedly best customers <laughs> because that's the only pair of jeans he ever wore. Um, I like this. I kind of like that. That came together very easily. So let me read you um, Sage and... and uh, Spencer's take on it. Oh, hold on a second. Do I want to put this car on there? Yes, I do. But I might not cut it out. I might. And it's colorful, so that helps. opinion. It kind of tones down that red. Uh, don't like that either. What 
if. All right, the car drove away. Here it is. Now that's more tolerable. Goes the newspaper delivery guy. I wonder what he thinks when he sees my light on every morning when it's still dark out. Oh, it was gorgeous yesterday. Oh no, I like that better. That might be up there. <clears throat> then I will read Sage and Spencer's thing. And I don't want it exactly perfect. Yeah, Tiger Woods was in a terrible car accident. But I really can't look at it much and read much about it because too close to home, PTSD. Same bones, different places, and more times. They said they put pins and screws in them. Oh, I really do like that. All right, Sage Ann Spencer. Shopping, how did I get talked into this? Not just any shopping, Levi shopping, shopping said the ever excited Sage. How do you expect to fit four pairs of jeans on your, oh yeah. I was gonna make a pair of spider jeans or bug jeans. And I really don't know if bugs have eight legs like I'm putting on all these guys, but that's just, this is my species. So they do have eight legs. How do you expect to fit four pairs of jeans on your spindly legs, X Spencer? Silly, if you go down the hall, upstairs and down another hall, they have a special room for bug jeans. Made just for us, this company started making them way back for the worker bugs and the gold fields. They are the only pant company made just for us. So get a move on, I'm not missing this opportunity to shop at Levi's. Oh, I need a pair of bug jeans. Any, uh, we're gonna make some bug jeans out of some of this blue scrap stuff. I forgot about that, because I wrote these at home. So that I could print them. Okay, there's one pair of bug jeans. And if that's not how your bug jeans look, that's fine. This is how my species of bug jeans look. goodness I think I might have gotten off my rocker oh I'm gonna attach a picture here too of the marina that I've been to here that we've eaten at flooded and it's for sale not a good time to try to sell a marina when it's flooded really, really doesn't show well for the real estate agents <laughs> and it backs up to the Waccamaw River which Waccamaw is an Indian name from here an in indigenous tribe and it's in an area called Weechi, Weechi Waki, Waki Weechi, or Weechi Waki, which is another Indian word from the Waccamaw Indians, I'm pretty sure. That's what I should do. I should do a Waccamaw Indian journal. Hmm. I wonder if they have bugs. Okay. I really like this. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Get your Levi's out. Now you know where they came from. Bye.